morning. There we are again. So this morning, Young and myself uh, split, and I'm back to uh, solo traveling. I am on my way to uh, Mangalore because I ultimately want to go to uh, Manipal, the, the city where I uh, did an exchange about like five years ago for uh, five months. And uh, yeah, I just want to go back to see what's changed. And uh, you know, but yeah, first a six-hour train ride. So uh, let's go. happen here yeah that was a pretty long six hour um, train ride because uh, it had a three hour delay but I've arrived at the hotel I'm gonna show you the hotel tomorrow because for now I'm just gonna be sleep see you tomorrow and good morning from the I don't know what weather it is Mangalore because I don't have any actual uh, windows to the outside. Um, so I promised I was going to show you the room, um, so I will. And then uh, let's go get a drone shot from the roof. So right now I'm set up in this uh, small breakfast uh, place, just waiting for my food. And um, after that we're gonna visit some uh, temples. Um, there's also this, uh, I don't know what it is actually, a fortress maybe, or it's called Sultan Battery. And it's uh, near the port here in uh, Mangalore. Well, let's see what it is, uh, but first some uh, food. Here we are, this is the St. Aloysius uh, Chapel, which was uh, built in uh, 1880 by the Italian uh, Jesuits, who apparently played a large role in the economic and educational situation for uh, Catholics in uh, Mangalore. I don't know much more about that because I'm lacking in uh, historical uh, context, let's say. But if you want to know more, as always, just read about it in the description. So here we are, the Sultan Battery. I said before it was a fortress, which it was used as, to be honest, but it's actually a uh, watchtower. It was built in uh, 1784. It was constructed during the rule of the uh, Emperor Tipu Sultan, which is uh, obviously where it gets its uh, name from. It was actually used to uh, fight off uh, the British um, by uh, placing cannons on the watchtower and then you know, fighting them off. If you want to know more, read the link in the description. Uh, but um, yeah, that was the touristic uh, tour of uh, today. Right, well, welcome to uh, Manipal. I arrived this morning after uh, having uh, some uh, food and uh, taking a bus from Udupi to, uh, no, from Mangalore to Udupi. And then from uh, Udupi I took a tuk-tuk to, uh, to here. Uh, seriously, being back in Manipal just brings back so many nostalgic feelings. I mean, I used to study here for half a year almost what, like five years ago? Um, so being back just give me goosebumps. Uh, yeah, first uh, check out the um, faculty that I used to study uh, communication at, because I'm gonna be recording some uh, footage here. Um, so yeah, check it out.
All right, so right now I'm at uh, Capo Beach together with uh, Peter, this um, exchange student that I met on Tuesday or Monday at the faculty. He's a Danish guy who, like me, is, or like I used to, is doing an uh, exchange at Manipal uh, School of University, uh, School of Communication right now. And uh, yeah, we just met, we had uh, dinner yesterday, and right now we're here to check out Capo Beach. So uh, let's shoot uh, so let's shoot some footage here. Peter's first Pani Puri. No, I don't think so. Nice. What do you think? Good taste. Right? So, good morning and welcome from Money Pile. Um, so, let's go over the past few days. Um, I think the highlight of my money park trip so far was definitely the talk that I got to give at uh, Manipal University about you know what my time in Manipal gave me, uh, what I'm doing now, uh, you know like travel vlogging, being on the road, being location independent. So hi everyone. Uh, first of all, I want to start off by saying how honored I feel to be presenting at the school that gave me such a once in a lifetime. And today I'll just be going over some of the, you know, favorite spots that we uh, used to hang out at. So, let's start. Uh, moving on to uh, one of my favorite restaurants and a go-to spot here in uh, Manipal. It's uh, Restaurant Dollops. Dollops is great for dinner and everything, but the place that I usually had my breakfast, and I mean almost every morning, is this place, Bangala Restaurant. Moving on to the party area where I uh, also spent a lot of time. I'm now on my way to uh, DT, so that was literally my favorite place while I was here. So many good memories there. So right now I'm uh, pretty close to um, the main building of uh, Manipal University. I actually only went there once, I think, in the beginning for uh, some registration. But it's uh, it's a nice building and also we're close to the place where I used to live. So I'm just quickly going to show you the main building. is actually the main uh, university building that I just showed you and uh, right now we're close to uh, the mark that's a place that a lot of international students um, stay in uh, in Manipal and uh, yeah that's where I lived for like four or five months so let's see how much of the mark I can show you I'm now uh, on my way. Oh, no, that's too bright. I'm now on my way to uh, back to my hotel. I just crossed uh, Jewel Rock. That's a, that's also a bar where I hung out quite a lot of times with uh, some friends here. Yeah, I also just passed Youth Corner, another money pie classic. Now I'm just uh, gonna get ready, pack, check out, and then get on a bus to uh, Cork because that's gonna be my next destination probably. For now, I'm gonna just record a couple of places on the way that are, that are going to be familiar to uh, many Manipalites. So I hope you uh, enjoyed seeing my uh, journey from uh, Mangalore to uh, Manipa and of course my uh, time in uh, Manipa. So that has now come to an end. 
and I'm gonna make my way to uh, Cork. So next week you'll see me in uh, Cork. Uh, again, thank you for watching and uh, let me know what you think in the comments.